Now, I have about seven ways that this Panama Canal closing up and drying up is going to affect not just the native Panamanians, but also the United States and the British and the whatever expats that are living here in the country. Now, you might think you're affected by the protest, the Panamanian protest right now, but you've just seen like the tip of the freaking iceberg, right? It's going to get a lot worse with this Panama Canal drying up. And I'm going to explain to you seven reasons this might be your time to vacate panama i'm about to drop and fly off to uh mexico in a minute but let's get to it the panama canal is a critical component if you guys don't know of the global trade and its uh closure or drying up would have significant consequences for both panama and globally so just imagine how it's going to be like Actually, here, this is going to be ground zero of Godzilla stepping down uh, when the war, uh, the atomic bomb first hit. You understand? It's going to be horrible. OK, so now because right now we're going through this protest and you can barely find food right now with everything running. So like the Panama Canal shutting down is anyway, economic impact on Panama. The Panama Canal is a major source of revenue for Panama. Now, y'all already know when we go to the store. The prices are higher than they are in the U.S. already. So just imagine what's going to be going on here, okay? So if the canal were to dry up completely, Panama would lose a substantial portion of its income. So this is, this is going to happen. It's going to have economic downturns, increased unemployment, which is going to then increase poverty, which is then in turn going to increase crime rate. It's pretty quiet and calm and peaceful and lovely and safe right now, but poverty brings crime. Why do you think we have the hood in the United States? Because it was like structured like a little rat maze with minimal resources that they would just have to fight over and kill over. Okay. And that's what's happening with this situation. So, and potential budget deficits for the government. Okay. So check this out. Number two, global trade disruption. Panama Canal, y'all yeah, don't know. Like, we're just visiting here. But unless you really pay attention to this stuff, you don't know how important uh, Panama is and the Panama Canal. Like, it it really, like, affects the entire globe pretty much, let alone being here in ground zero. You hear me? So it says, it's key for uh, maritime routes that connects with the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans, its closure would force ships to take longer routes. So right now, like, dog, the protest is happening. We're going into the second month of the protest, right? And <laughs> if this Panama Canal closed down, man, and we have to wait for things to happen, like, in a way that's not normal, we're already waiting for gas and food trucks to come in here and the protest is still going on. But even after the protest is over, it's still going to be like weeks before things go back to normal. So if this Panama Canal thing is happening as well, then it's going to be horrible. OK, so it says typically around the southern tip of South America via the Cape Horn. This would lead to increased travel time, higher fuel costs, and delayed delivery of goods. Y'all hear what I'm talking about? Okay, so the impact will be particularly significant for certain commodities like oil and grain that frequently use the canal. Now, right now, man, I'm in a beautiful house, right, in a beautiful part of Panama. And because of this protest, right? We don't know when the house gas is going to come back. And you got people on the side of the road, like charging extremely high amounts of money for fuel for vehicles and stuff. Right. So imagine this right here. I'm, I'm trying to get you all prepared because everybody lives all lottie dotty and stuff. Not saying you're supposed to live your days in fear or nothing, but you want to be prepared so you don't have to get uh, uh, get prepared or so it doesn't be too late, okay? So guess what? Increase in shipping costs that might not really, well, that will affect you. So if you're ordering something from the States, you know we have these little places where we uh, pick up our stuff from in, in Volcan and in Boquete, and I'm pretty sure David all over the place, Right. So they're going to start charging way more. OK, so the longer routes would not only increase travel time, but also raise shipping costs. 
the cost would likely be passed on to the consumers, which is you, the Panamanian natives, and the United States expats that are ordering stuff from different places and countries and websites. So the prices are going to be passed on to you, leading to increased prices for a variety of goods. Woo-wee! So... Listen, we're going to go straight into number four, environmental impact. Longer shipping routes mean more fuel consumption and higher emissions, which would negatively impact the environment. I know a lot of you guys are trying to live green lives and and all of that stuff, right? So this is how this affects that right there. Okay. Additionally, the ecological impact of the canal drying up could be substantial, affecting local ecosystems and wildlife. Now, we don't want nothing bad to happen. Like, we got this little pond uh, uh, not too far from our house where we're living at in Panama right now, where we go up there to feed the ducks and stuff like that. It would suck for something to happen to them. Now, check this out. Impact on local employment. So this is what I was talking about a minute ago, guys. Like, everybody is nice right now. But when you're uh, faced with having to find something to eat for your wife and your children, and you have a uh, uh, um, well off um, <laughs> visitors in your country, guys, they start looking like steak. You hear me? Okay, so I'm just being real with you. I'm from the hood, I know what it means. It's not that the people are evil. When you're put in a concentrated uh, 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 environment of lack, Right. Like like lack of resources, lack of like just everyday necessities to live. And then you got the little kids and your wife got their mouths open and chirping like a like the little baby birds in the nest waiting for the worm. To be like, like when they're reaching for you to figure out what we're going to eat up in this mug. You understand you're forced with the with it's plenty of men locked up in America and all countries because of lack. All right. So it says impact on local employment. Many Panamanians are employed directly or indirectly by the Panama Canal. Its closure would lead to job losses and could adversely affect the local economy. So this isn't just about shipping stuff and getting your stuff from Amazon, y'all. This is about the locals, too. I know a lot of y'all living here right now don't really care about the locals. Well, guess what? You're going to care about them if they're coming at you like the cartel or something, right? You're going to care about them then. All right, so it says its closure will lead to that. Number six, political and strategic implications. The Panama Canal is also of strategic military importance. Its closure could have geopolitical implications, especially for countries that rely on it for the movement of naval assets. Number seven, impact on surrounding regions. Okay, so it's It's going to affect not just Panama itself, guys. This is what happens when you create this like spider web sort of situation where you have the little hub in the middle. Panama Canal is the little hub. And then like the the imports, exports all go through this little hub. So if this little hub shuts down, now it's going to shut down service in a whole bunch of different places. I'm going all the way. Okay. Now it says. Nearby ports and logistics centers that rely on the canal traffic will also suffer economically. The ripple effects could impact trade and economies in a broader Latin America region. Okay, so overall, y'all, so what's this going on? Y'all some expats, y'all living in in Panama right now. You might be in Boquete, you might be in David, you might be in Chitri, you might be, I don't know where you're at, Panama City. And you're like, well, this ain't going to affect me. I'm American. Blah, 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 blah. No, it is going to affect you. If you live here, if you got your citizenship or permanent residency here and you have your uh, income transferred here um, and, and, and all of that stuff like that, like if you're actually woven into this place right here, then this is going to impact you just as much as it's going to impact the locals. All right. So. The drying up of the Panama Canal would have far-reaching implications, disrupting global trade, impacting economies, and having environmental, geopolitical, catastrophic, and a whole bunch of words like that. If you're new to the channel, Journey to Tomorrow, man, do a Jet Li sidekick to the subscription button and do uh, an unbox 
Muay Thai, Tony Jai, flying knee kick to the share button and share this and all of the expat Panama groups and stuff, if you will. Okay. And hopefully I see you guys in the next one. Okay.